Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Math Lessons with Ma'am Vasquez. In this video, I will discuss factoring of polynomials. There are several factoring methods, depending on the class of polynomials that you need to factor. That is why it's important that you can identify the polynomials so it will be easier for you to factor it. I hope after you watch this video, you will be able to factor polynomials with common monomial factor, difference of two squares, sum and difference of two cubes, and perfect square and trinomial. Let's begin with factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. I know that a lot of you are fond of using different acronyms like LOL, BRB, YOLO, SLR, ONZ, and a lot more. Why don't you add GCF on the list? Yes, GCF or Greatest Common Factor. Kasi isa yan sa mga konsepto na dapat alam natin bago tayo makapag-factor ng polynomial with common monomial factor. So how do we get the GCF of the given numbers? Pwede tayong gumamit ng frame factorization. But here in this video, we will do it by listing its factors. Yes, factors, when we say factors, these are numbers that when we multiply, we can get another number. Halimbawa yung 3. Ano ba yung mga number na pag minultiply natin ang sagot? 3. That's 1 times 3. So, ibig sabihin, 1 times 3, factor siya ng 3. And the process of finding the factors is what we call factoring. Kasi in factoring, it's like we are breaking up or splitting up a number into parts. Okay? So, let's find the GCF of the given numbers. Let's have 6 and 19. So, what are the factors of 6? So, we have 6 times 1 and 3 times 2. What about 18? So, syempre, yung 18, sarili niya, times 1, then we also have 9 times 2, and 6 times 3. So, after you list all the factors, you can now find the common factors. Yung mga factor na parehas meron, yung mga number na kinukuhaan natin ito. So, we have 1, parehas silang meron, parehas silang meron 2, parehas silang meron 3, and 6. Okay? So, yun yung mga common factors nila. But we need to find the greatest common factor. Yung pinakamataas. So, dito, the GCF is 6. Okay? So, 10 and 25. What are the factors of 10? So, we have 10 times 1, 5 times 2. Yung 25 naman, we have 25. So, we have 25 times 1 and 5 times 5. So, common yung 1. But we have to get the greatest and that is 5. So, the GCF is 5. So, in number 3, there are 3 numbers. 6, 9, and 15. You will do the same thing. Lahat sila kukuhaan mo ng factors. So, yung 6, 9, and 15. So, we have 6 times 1, 2 times 3. Yung 9 naman, we have 9 times 1 and 3 times 3. Okay, 15, 15 times 1, 5 times 3. So, ang mga common factors dyan ay 1, but the greatest is 3. So, ibig sabihin, the GCF here is 3. Okay? When you look at number 4 and number 5, variables yan. So, kapag ka variables, Siyempre, wala namang kagaya nito. X to the power of 2. Wala naman yung ibang factors maliban kay X. Ba? Kasi X times X to X to the power of 2. So, ang pwede natin siyang gawin, ganito. X to the power of 2 is equals to X times X. X to the power of 4, it only means that you are multiplying X 4 times to itself. So, same thing with X to the power of 7. It's multiplying X 7 times sa sarili niya. So, we have 5, 6, 7. So, pag tinignan mo, walang greatest. Pero, ito yung mga common sa dalawa. si so, ibig sabihin, we're going to use x times x or x to the power of 2 as the GCF of these variables. Pero, what is the easiest way? Kapag variable sa pinag-uusapan, remember that you only need to look for the variable with the least exponent. Yung may pinakamababang exponent z, yan na yung ating GCF. So, pag tinignan mo to, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 7, pinakamababa, mababa, ito. So, that would be the GCF. 
So next, we have, so hindi na natin kailangan ilis lahat. Kasi alam na natin, kapag ka variables, hanapin lang natin yung may pinakamababang exponent. So x, mas mababa yung 2. So we're going to use x to the power of 2. Kay y naman, we're going to use y to the power of 2. So that's the GCF. That is how we can get the GCF of both number and variables. So let's have 6x plus 18. How do you call this expression? Okay, so it is an example of a polynomial. To be specific, tinatawag natin niya as binomial kasi it has two terms, yung 6x tapos yung 18. So kung meron ka ng three terms, ang tawag na natin dyan ay trinomial. Pero kasi generally, tinatawag na yan as polynomials kasi when we say polynomials, it is an expression made of terms that are product of a constant and a variable. And also, polynomials came from the Greek Latin word means yung poly natin ay many, yung nomial ay term. So polynomial simply means many term. Now, which among these polynomials can be solved using GCF? So syempre, yung mga polynomials lang na merong common factor. Kaya nga tinawag na factoring of polynomials with common monomial factor. Kasi kapag wala, hindi natin pwedeng gamitan ng GCF. Kagaya ng x to the power of 2 minus 25. So, two terms yan, pero wala naman siyang common. Same thing with a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. So, we are going to factor that on the next topic. Ito yung mga polynomials sa binigay ko kanina na pwede natin gamitan ng GCF. Okay? So, let's have 6x plus 18. Kapag magpa-factor tayo ng polynomials with common monomial factor, you have to remember three steps. First step, you have to find the GCF. Okay? So, dahil yung first term natin lang, yung may variable na x, tapos dito wala. So, ang pukuha lang natin ng GCF dyan, yung 6 at saka yung 18. So, pwede natin ilis yung factors. So, 6 times 1, 3 times 2. Then, we have 18 times 1, 9 times 2, 6 times 3. Pero, kapag medyo sanay ka na kumuha ng GCF kagaya nito, 6 and 18, pwede kasi natin tignan yung mas, mas mababang number, 6. Factor ba siya ng 18? Yes, dahil factor siya ng 18, matik yun, siya na yung GCF nun. So, the GCF here is... 6. Okay? Step number 2, after you get the GCF, you're going to divide each term in the polynomials to the GCF. So, we have 6x, divide natin siya kay 6, yung GCF natin. Then, we have 18, divide natin siya kay 6. So, simplifying this, we have 6x divided by 6, so makakancel yung 6 because that's equal to 1. Matitira si x. So, plus... 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, ito yung GCF. Ito yung quotient nung dinivide na natin. So, third step, you need to get the factor. So, what will be the factor? It is the GCF multiplied to the quotient. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang factor form ng polynomial na to. Okay? So, how will you know if you come up with the correct factored form? So, pwede natin i-distribute yung GCF para ma-check natin. 6 times x, 6x. 6 times 3, we have 18. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung factored form natin. Okay? Next, we have this. Pag tinignan mo, meron ka ng numbers or constant, tapos meron pa tayong mga variables. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa yan, kukuhaan natin ng GCF. Let's start with 10 and 25. So, ano ang mga factors? 10 times 1, 5 times 2. Dito naman, 25 times 1 and 5 times 5. The GCF is 5. So, sa variable, sinabi ko kanina, you have to look for the variable with the least exponent. So, parehas may x. So, we're going to use x to the power of 2. Kasi siya yung mas mababang exponent. And then, sa y, ganun din. We're going to use y to the power of 2. So, we're going to multiply yung 5 na nakuha natin as GCF dito, dito sa variable. So, therefore, the GCF would be 5, x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. Again, after you get the GCF, divide it to the polynomial. So, 10, x to the power of 4, y to the power of 5. So, divide natin dito. Minus yung second term. Okay, divide pa rin natin yan kay GCF. 
So, simplifying this, we have 10 divided by 5 is 2. Parehas yung variable na x. So, we're going to copy. 4 minus 2, we have 2. So, y, parehas din meron. So, we're going to subtract 5 saka 2. So, we have 3. Minus, 25 divided by 5 is 5. Pag pinansin mo to, parehas, parehas to. So, that's equal to 1. So, pwede natin to i-cancel na lang kasi may matitira namang 5 dito sa kapila. So, ito yung quotient natin. Then, the factored form, do not forget that it is the product of the GCF and the quotient. Okay, so if you want to check your work, dapat kasi chinecheck para malaman mo. Kasi minsan baka may error ka dyan sa exponents. Pag chinec, distribute mo lang yung GCF dito at saka dito sa second term. So we have 10, yung x natin, tama, 4, then y to the power 5. Okay, so ibig sabihin, tama yung factored form natin. In given number 3, as you can see, wala naman tayo dyan yung numerical coefficient. So mas madali yan. So, kailangan lang natin hanapin yung may pinakamababang exponent and that will be the GCF agad. So, we have, so the GCF, tingnan muna natin yung x. ano may mas mababang exponent? So, ito. So, we have x. So, y. So, we have y. So, z, ang mas may mababang exponent ay z to the power of 2. So, ibig sabihin, yan na agad yung GCF. So, let's divide it by x, y, z. Okay. Ito yung ating GCF. Okay. So, simplifying this, as you can see, same yung nasa numerator at nasa, nasa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, that's equal to 1. Cancel, cancel, 1. Then, minus, pag tinignan mo yung variable, same na merong x, pero 4 minus 1, 3. Yung y natin, 2 minus 1, 1. So, 3, same din, 3 minus 2, that's 1. So, ito yung ating quotient. So, the factored form is x, y, z squared times 1 minus x cubed y z. So, ito ang factored form. Next, so 15, 6, and 9. So, 15, 6, 9. So, you list all the factors. 15 times 1, 5 times 3, 6 times 1, 2 times 3. 9 times 1 and 3 times 3. So, the GCF is 3. Okay. So, ang GCF natin dito ay 3. Tapos, pag tinignan mo yung variables, ang may pinakamababang exponent ay 2. So, 3y to the power of 2 will be the GCF. Then, 15y to the power of 6 divided by the GCF. Okay? So, next term divided again by the GCF. And then, the last term is 9y to the power of 2 divided by 3y squared. So, simplifying this, we have... 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, we have y. Subtract. 6 minus 2, that's 4. So, plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then, we have y. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, itong dalawa, pareha. So, that's equal to 1. Hindi na natin kailangan isulat. So, ito yung kanyang quotient. But, the factored form is the GCF na 3y to the power of 2 multiplied to the quotient 5y to the power of 4 plus 2y squared minus 3. Okay? So, last given, so 16, 20, and 4. So, when you look at the numerical coefficients, the lowest number, the smallest number is 4. Do you think 4 is a factor of 16? Pwede. A factor siya. Factor din siya ni 20. So, ibig sabihin, matik na yun na 4 ang GCF nila. Okay? Pagdating naman sa mga variables, so we have m, ang may pinakamababang exponent ay 1, so ito na yon. Then sa n, ganun din. So the GCF is 4 m n. Okay. So we have 16 m to the power of 4, n to the power of 6, divided by, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we have m, copyhin natin, then 4 minus 1 is 3. Kay n naman, copyhin natin dahil common, then 6 minus 1 is 5. Minus 20 divided by 4 is 5. Then m raised to 4 kasi 5 minus 1. Yung n, cancel. Kasi parehas naman siya. That's equal to 1 na. Plus, ito tsaka ito ay parehas. So, ibig sabihin that is equal to 1. Okay? And then the factor form is 4 mn times 
the quotient for n cube. Sorry. Okay. So minus 5m to the power 4 plus 1. Okay. So that is the factored form of this polynomial.